organized? Check. Cheap? Double check. This is 13 Smart Dollar Store Ideas to Declutter Your Kitchen by Natalie Brown. 1. Organize your very standard no-frills refrigerator with a few small bins. It's pretty straightforward. Here's a shot of the entire refrigerator after I ended up purchasing six baskets in two different sizes and colors from the Dollar Tree. This whole project cost a whopping $6. On the bottom, starting from the top left to right, we have sandwich basket, vegetable basket, salsa and hot sauce basket, left drawer and right drawer. Next up, the middle shelf of our refrigerator. We have cheese basket, salad dressing or condiment basket, and meat helper basket. In a top shelf, it's where I keep leftovers, pre-made lunches, shredded lettuce, and eggs. Two, then employ bins in your pantry too. Step one, empty everything out of the pantry. Step two, washed and vacuumed out the pantry and relined the shelves with new contact paper you can purchase from the local discount store. Step three, label it or tag it if you desire. This is the before picture and after the hack applied. Three, use small baskets to clean up your cutlery drawer. In addition to the cutlery that was in the old tray, this easy trick allows me to fit in an extra 16 dessert forks, 16 teaspoons, and 14 steak knives. Sounds like a more efficient use of space to me. Four, this also works for rounding up everything from tea to Tylenol. Bins and baskets are just really helpful, okay? I thought my kitchen was organized, but I kept finding problem areas. Solution! I cleaned out our corner cupboard where I store our baking items. I wiped down the shelves and put things away. I moved other items to a lower cupboard. I also cleaned out one of our drawers, and I finally put the remaining items into three by nine inch containers bought from the dollar store. Five. Use tension rods to store your cutting boards and baking sheets so they're easily accessible. You'll be able to see and easily reach everything you have. How to do it. Store serving trays, platters, and cutting boards with tension curtain rods. Measure the vertical distance between two cupboard shelves. Position appropriate size rods between the shelves as shown. Twist the rods to tighten so their inner springs will keep them upright. Use two rods on both sides of each item spacing them according to the dimensions of individual pieces. Six, or buy a basic wire rack and some zip ties to keep them on the inside of your cabinet door. Both the organizer and the zip ties from Dollar Tree. You'd have to have the space in front of your cabinets to have a wire rack there, of course. Instructions, screw the wire organizer onto your cabinet door. Make sure that when you close the door, there is enough clearance for anything inside, plus your organizer and cutting boards. Also make sure you put it low enough so your tallest cutting board will fit when you close the cabinet door. Little problem, since the bottom is open, slats and the board would just slip out. Solution, I simply tied on a few zip ties and trimmed the excess off. Seven, then use magazine files to hold your placemats and paper goods. I found this magazine file in the dollar section at Target and put the paper plates in it. Eight. Pick out some small baskets for canned food organization, then label them according to type. The labels came from online labels and they have a label designer program, which makes creating and printing super easy. Nine, go hardcore Pinterest and transfer all of your dry goods to matching glass canisters. Yes, they do sell these at the dollar store. Those glass canisters with stainless steel lids, I saw almost the same ones at Walmart for $20 each. At the dollar store, they were $1.25. $1.25. At the same store, I scored 10 clear plastic stackable lunch containers for $2. Yep, they were perfect and just what I had in mind. Total cost of reorganizing this one cupboard, under $15 and well worth every penny. 10, line your drawers with inexpensive, non-seasonal gift wrap. Sure, it's not a permanent solution, but it's a cute way to decorate your kitchen and protect the bottom of your drawers. And it's easy enough to swap out or remove completely if you get tired of it, or if it gets torn or dirty. One roll of patterned wrapping paper and some double stick tape were the perfect fit. I also love the fact that it took less than 10 minutes for me to reline my kitchen drawers. Fast and cheap. That awesome little roll only cost me a single dollar. 
11. Pick up a binder to house all of your favorite recipes. Or, as this blogger does, to house the recipe indexes from your collection of cooking magazines. It's easy! Just locate your favorite recipe index in your food magazine and carefully tear it out. Punch three holes in the margin and add it to your binder. 12. Get a few self-adhesive hooks to make an easy grab station for your measuring spoons, especially good for frequent bakers. This is a new Betty Crocker measuring item, and you know they're only one buck a set. I also picked up these self-adhesive hooks from their organizing section, and I must say, they're just as good as the nicer scotch brain ones. And last, 13. Line your refrigerator shelves with off-brand wax paper, plastic wrap, or cling film. It'll make those inevitable spills and sticky spots extra easy to clean up. Directions? Number one, take everything out. Number two, deep clean it using lemon if you have to. And the last trick, use wax paper to protect your fridge shelves in the bottom of your drawers. It won't stick to the glass, it looks fresh and bright, and it's a lot easier to change the paper in case of a spill than clean the entire drawer or shelf. More info is available after you follow the pasted link under this video. That's it! As always, press the like button under this video or share it with anyone in your follower list. Comment down it if you have a better idea related to this topic and press the subscribe button if you don't want to miss our new release approximately next week. Thanks for watching!